Hello everyone and welcome to my podcast. If you have been following me on social media, you might have seen a series of short videos where my husband shares his remarkable story of diabetes remission. These videos have sparked significant interest among our followers who have been eager to learn more about his journey and how they can apply the lessons he has learned to their own lives. Today, I am honored to have Zafar join me to share his inspiring story of reversing his type 2 diabetes. I'd like to extend a special thank you to him for sharing his experiences with us. Zafar, thank you for sharing your remarkable journey with us. Can you tell us about how you achieved remission and how the continuous glucose monitor CGM played a crucial role in your success? Uh, absolutely. About a year ago, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Like many others, I was concerned and wanted to find a way to manage my condition without relying solely on medications and instead focus on lifestyle adjustments. The traditional method of using a glucometer with finger pricks and test strips uh, multiple times a day was quite cumbersome. The major question for me were how do you know your blood glucose levels while you are sleeping, especially in the morning, what is known as the dawn phenomena, uh, which refers to the blood increase, uh, the natural increase in blood sugar levels and occurs in the early morning hours. My goal was to monitor my blood glucose level throughout the day in real time, correlating them with my activities and dietary choices, and then implement necessary lifestyle modifications to regulate my blood sugar level within a healthy range without resorting to pharmaceuticals. What does it mean? Collect reliable data and take action based on science. That's when I discovered the power of continuous glucose monitoring. For the benefit of our audience, can you briefly explain what a CGM device is? Yeah, so a continuous glucose monitor or a CGM is a wearable biosensor that gives you real-time information about your blood sugar levels. This information is vital to people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes for whom high blood sugar levels called hyperglycemia or low blood sugar levels called hypoglycemia can be life-threatening. I have one here with me uh, to show your audience and it looks uh, and how it looks. And we have done several videos where you can see how to apply it, how to connect to the app, how to read and understand the data, graph, etc. The links are all in the description. You mentioned using CGM for people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Can people who are not diagnosed with diabetes also use CGM? And is there any benefit to them? Yeah, actually, it's a great question. Um, so CGM devices are also beneficial for people diagnosed with prediabetes mm -hmm. uh, and, and also variable for people without any metabolic uh, impairment. CGM provides several important data points and glucose matrix, including average glucose, AGP, TIR, and glycemic variability, which means which measures essentially spikes and crashes, which are also helpful for individuals who would want to remain metabolically healthy. So which device are you currently using for continuous glucose monitoring? Yeah, so the, the CGM device I use is from Cbionics CGM, GS1. It started selling online in last year in Europe, and now it's licensed in uh, Saudi Arabia and UAE and will be available soon locally. GS1 has truly been a game changer for me. It allows me to track my blood glucose levels in real time, giving me valuable insights into how my body responds to different foods, activities, sleep quality, and even stress levels. Uh, this information has been essential in helping me develop an effective protocol to reverse my type 2 diabetes. We will talk about the protocol in a bit, but tell us more about the specific features of the CGM that have been so helpful. Yeah, um, so the Cbionic CGM has several key features that have been instrumental in my journey. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, the real-time blood glucose monitoring has allowed me to see patterns and trends that I would have never noticed with traditional finger prick testing. I can see how my levels fluctuate throughout the day, mm -hmm. which has helped me make informed decisions about my diet and lifestyle. Uh, another incredibly useful feature is the ability to customizable alarms to high and low blood glucose levels. This has allowed me to stay on top of any concerning changes and make adjustments based on uh, uh, if they become problematic. That's really helpful. Can you tell us more about the ambulatory glucose profile that is AGP feature of the CGM and how you used it in your journey? Yeah, so the AGP provides a comprehensive 24-hour overview of my blood glucose levels. Uh, the detailed data from the AGP has been helpful in identifying trends and patterns in my blood glucose levels. For example, outside my breakfast and dinner time, I noticed that my levels 
tend to rise slightly between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m., uh, which I, which now I understand is likely due to the dawn phenomena. Mm -hmm. Additionally, I observed that my blood glucose levels spike during my exercise routine, uh, which helps me understand how my body responds to physical activity. That's really insightful. Can you share more about the time and range feature, which is TIR, and how you used in in your journey? Yeah, so the TIR feature of the Cbionics CGM tracks the percentage of time uh, my blood glucose level spent within a target range. This has been helpful in monitoring my progress and adjusting my protocol as needed. For example, I use the TIR feature to identify that my levels were consistently spending more time outside the target range during certain times of the day. This allowed me to adjust my diet and lifestyle accordingly, which ultimately helped me improve my overall glucose control. That's really helpful. Can you tell us more about the remote view feature of the CGM and how you used it in your journey? Yeah, so the remote uh, view feature of the Cbionic CGM allows my healthcare team and family members and friends to monitor my progress remotely. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been helpful in ensuring that I am on the right track, my healthcare team and family members are aware of my progress and I can make adjustments as needed. C-Bionic CGM is truly an incredibly feature-rich system. Now let's switch focus to the specific protocol you developed and used to reverse your type 2 diabetes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, after being diagnosed, I did extensive research um, and documented my protocol on my website, and you can provide the link in the description, uh, but I will summarize it here. Mm -hmm. Uh, the key elements of our, my approach were adopting a low-carb, high-fat diet that is focused on whole, unprocessed food, eliminating seed oils. Intermittent fasting, I had an A slab 16 window, which means I will only eat between 8 hours from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, breakfast usually at 11 and dinner at 7 without any snackings. Uh, I incorporated regular exercise, include cardio, uh, flexibility, mobility, strength, and resistance training. Improving sleep quality, sometimes it is overlooked, uh, but there are documented studies that show how sleep deprivation can negatively impact your insulin sensitivity. And finally, practicing stress management techniques such as meditation and mindfulness. Uh, by following the comprehensive protocol and using the insights provided by the CGM, I was able to not only manage my type 2 diabetes, but ultimately reverse it completely. Wow, that's a lot to unpack. Tell us more about your food choices and intermittent fasting. Well, uh, if I have to explain it in details, uh, I will probably need several hours just for that. But let me just share the guiding principles around this topic mm -hmm. so everyone can benefit. Mm -hmm. I took a lot of help from the concept of uh, bio-individuality that revolves around the idea that each person is unique in their biological makeup and health needs. It emphasized there is no one-size-fits-all approach to health and nutrition because individuals have a specific requirements uh, based on their biological characteristics, genetic makeup, mm -hmm. uh, life lifestyle factors and environmental influences. True. What does it mean? Meaning I experimented with different food groups uh, to identify which ones are most suitable for me maintaining my blood glucose levels. Mm -hmm. I also use intermittent fasting to help stabilize and maintain my blood glucose levels throughout the day. I usually have my breakfast at 11 and in the morning and dinner at 7 uh, and no uh, snacks in between. That's really insightful. Can you share more about the role of stress management in your journey and how you use the CGM to monitor the impact on your blood glucose levels? Yeah, so stress management has been a crucial component of my journey. I use the CGM to monitor the impact of my stress on my blood glucose levels and found that uh, it has significantly affected my levels. This allowed me to develop stress management techniques such as meditation and mindfulness to better manage my levels. Uh, one interesting story I can share is while driving during rush hours, I noticed a few times um, that my alarm notification on my CGM app will pop up, that my blood glucose has risen above the predetermined mm -hmm. threshold. And initially, I was very surprised as to why it is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, later, I found out that even stress can have a negative impact on your gl uh, blood glucose levels. And that's when I started taking care of my stress as well. That's incredible. It's clear that CGM has been an essential tool in your journey. Is there anything else you'd like to share about your experience? Uh, yeah, um, most important thing I've learned is that reversing type 2 diabetes is possible mm -hmm. with the right approach and the right tools. True. The Cbionics CGM has been instrumental in providing me with the data and insights 
I needed to make informed decisions and take control of my health. I'm grateful to have access to this technology mm -hmm. and I hope that by sharing my story, I can inspire others to explore the power of continuous glucose monitoring in their own journey. So thank you for sharing your inspiring story with us today. What message do you hope viewers can take away from your experience? Mm, uh, the, take ownership of your health. There is no one else but you are responsible for your well-being. Uh, I hope that viewers understand the importance of continuous glucose monitoring in managing and reversing type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. With the right tools and information, it is possible to achieve and maintain a diabetes-free life. That's very powerful message. With that, we would like to close our discussion. Thank you again for joining us today and sharing your journey. Thank you. Thank you.